That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya and today we are going to be checking out the song Master of Puppets from Metallica. I'm very excited about this. This has been a very popular song on YouTube for people to react to. Um, and I'm purely doing it because <laughs> I heard this in Stranger Things. I know you can judge me all you want. Okay. I had never heard this song before and I was saving it for a full song discography dive, um, on the channel. And yeah, it just appeared in that episode, if you know what I mean, of, of Stranger Things with Eddie, and uh, yeah, it blew my mind. So here we are, um, very excited. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. We officially hit over 10,000 subscribers, and y'all, I'm so just thankful, grateful, proud, and so happy, so thank you so much. For subscribing thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for supporting the channel and just being here on this metal journey with me it really is just it's everything to me so don't forget to subscribe join our metal journey you can also join us in the discord we have an invite link down below you can join the mosh pit if you want to and um, yeah if you want to send something to be featured in a metal unboxing video I have a PO box down below you can send stuff too. So we're going to listen to the song, we're going to dive into the lyrics, and we're going to have a fun ass time, okay? So let's get into the video. I don't need it that big. to it again it just feels like if they're cutting off the the measure just like a little bit short dun 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 dun, dun. I don't know it's like it's like I want it to to last a little longer but they're not they're not giving me that so they're keeping it almost like on edge um his vocals sound really good too nice like reverb effect <laughs> are so nice because they really they hold it out just long enough to where everything cuts out mmm very clean very very nice and live I bet that this is just like it's the best time because you have the chorus is so catchy and you can do so much with it with crowd participation just like screaming with you 
And, uh, oh, with the lights, too, with the master, all oh, the lights come out, master, lights come on, lights go off. Oh. Instant tears, instant tears. I know, I know, I'm just preparing myself. Oh, you introduce like an acoustic guitar or a cello dude and it's Tear City, okay? I don't remember this part. What part of the song was this with the Eddie episode? I'm not going to spoil anything, so that's up to you in the comments. But... is changing the vibe is changing in this section also can we talk about the little juicy little solo okay opeth every riff that they did in blackwater park told a story and was like it was just like a character the riff was a character and that is what i feel like that little section was the guitarist I don't know his name. I don't know the members by heart. But he was showing that guitar a real good time. Okay? Telling her a love story, a love ballad. Giving her a bath. Giving her a foot massage. He was the perfect husband to that guitar. Okay? Now the vibe is changing. Something's happening. Master! Master! Where's the dreams that I've been after? Master! Master! Promise don't leave.
so clean. I can't get over how clean they are. Ugh. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm trying to like understand the placement of this whole song. I really love the bridge. The bridge. Mm, there's like two sections for these like little solos. And I love that they circle back around to this like chorus. So they're bringing it back to this whole master. <laughs> interesting ending he had some sort of like guitar effect on his like some guitar pedal or something that almost made it sound like game of thronesy like strings that's kind of what it reminded me of and i really loved the like the one bit of laughter and then it was all of this sort of like mocking joking laughter as if it's like people that are like watching puppets or like a puppet show or something like that somebody inferior they're laughing at somebody inferior to them i just want to know more of the backstory um let's see track two on master of puppets wow so it's not even the opener title track off master of puppets is mainly about the the effects drugs can have on a person's life interesting um wow this mcdonald's ad is massive it is the single most performed song in metallica's career okay genius look love you bud but these ads they gotta go all right they gotta go it's the single most performed song in Metallica's career and always provides a great reaction from audiences as Hetfield will leave the singing of master exclamations to the audience to great effect. That's what I, I thought so too. Perfect crowd interaction, callback, it's just, it's great. The guitar riff between the last guitar solo section and final verse was heavily influenced by David Bowie's song Andy Warhol which Burton and Hammett were big fans of. Very cool. What are the comments on this? The first line references Passion Play, which is dramatic retelling of the crucifixion. Okay, hold on, we're not there yet. Why are you saying Master of Puppets? Is it something that you've let, you felt has been done to you or that you see being done to your friends? No, I see it done to different people. Some of the stuff, well, Master of Puppets deals pretty much with drugs. How things get switched around, instead of you controlling what you're taking and doing, it's drugs controlling you. Like, I went to a party here in San Francisco, there were all these freaks shooting up in Giesen, and this other girl was real sick. You gotta be careful with that girl, okay? I'll be doing that. How did the song perform on the Billboard charts? Debuted at number 40 on the Billboard Hot 100 <laughs> during the chart week ending of July 16, 2022. I wonder why. <laughs> Stranger Things. After just over 36 years of its release, the song marks Metallica's first entry on the Hot 100 since 2008. Yeah, that was the same case with um, Kate Bush's song, Running on the yeah, because all the uh, all the youngins and and many different people, not just the the tweens, um, were really into those songs. It's amazing how television can bring back songs from from previous years, from I guess the dead, if you want to say that. <laughs> I wouldn't call it the dead. Like, for me, if I was going to say bringing back a song from the dead, I would think about something from, like, pre-1960, you know? Like, the 80s doesn't seem dead to me. But, you know, it's just not my generation, and it certainly isn't the generation that's younger than me. So the fact that, like, kids younger than me are watching Stranger Things and, 
and getting so into those songs and bringing them back is just it's awesome so I'm really big into the older music so it's cool to be able to see that um I just wish that I could have been one of those people to have been a teenager when this came out first and had it been a part of my life back then um but you know we are where we are so I ain't gonna say too much else but oh I thought this said onion but it says Orion don't judge me okay okay let's see what these lyrics are talking about here I wish I could get rid of this McDonald's dad bestie yeah I don't want this here yeah can you just like move a little bit please um end of passion play crumbling away on your source of self-destruction veins that pump with fear sucking darkest clear leading on your death's construction you're done so you're dying now the opening line conveys what happens to an addict they become dependent on something that is at the same time killing them ruining their life and leading them down a path of self-ruin Oh, yeah. Woo, Bobby. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, it's just bad behavior. It's a bad cycle. Taste me. You will see. More is all you need. Addicts think that one more fix will be enough, but more never is. A drug such as cocaine is often tasted to confirm its potency. Cocaine is a tolerance drug. More of the drug is required to produce the original effect. More is all you need dedicated to how I'm killing you. It's amazing that this song is about drugs. Master of Puppets. How does that correlate then? Master of Puppets. I would assume it's like the drug is making these people almost turn into puppets. Um, almost like zombies. I would, I would assume more like zombies though. I don't know. Come crawling faster. Obey your master. Your life burns faster. Obey your master. Re crawling refers to buying the drugs and how you can't stop. So when you're weak and crawling, you still buy them. Obey means to give in to addiction and let it control your life. Life burning is the effects of the drugs and how it ruins your physical life as well as your emotional life. Master of puppets and pulling your strings. Drugs taking over everything. They're all he sees, all he thinks about. It controls his behavior. He can't stop and he can't live a normal life and fulfill life's goals and dreams with the drugs in his way. Dang, Bubba. I wonder what, like, caused you to write this song. If you're telling me that you got inspiration for this song, Mr. Hetfield, I would assume. James, Mr. James Hetfield. Because you went to a San Francisco party and you saw some people shooting up. More power to you. I mean, it's amazing what different situations you can put yourself into and get, like, song inspiration from. <laughs> so that's going to do it for our reaction today. So that's going to do it for my reaction today on Master of Pup... Oh, God. I feel burnt. <laughs> So that's going to do it for today's reaction of Master of Puppets. I really hope that y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know what your thoughts are on this song and more importantly, like what its influence was for metal as a whole. I would be very interested because I know that this is like one of the more like iconic and kind of commercial songs. Um, it's just iconic for Metallica as well as like mainstream metal as well as just like metal in general so I kind of want to know more how it influenced the genre what the importance of this song is um, and what your thoughts are on it do you like the song do you hate the song is it kind of meh is it overplayed now and it's just like meh to you um, and have you seen it live 
Have you seen this song live? I would be very curious to know. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join the Discord. Like and share the video. And um, stay safe. Thank you. I uh, love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, babes.